Hey guys, Westy on the mic here. All right. Going to try to queue up with Aaron here and see if we can get some PT battles. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. We have a four player card. So what these other two players won't know is that Aaron and I are going into this with just our PDs. So going to be at a severe disadvantage, but uh, we're willing to sacrifice the yellow points for a little bit of entertainment here. So we'll see how we do. Ooh, I know I left this too far left, but it's all right. The problem is, as I mentioned, we only have PDs. So I got to be able to make this putt with just my PD. So I know I'm going to have to aim to the right and it'll sink in there. If you played the tilt challenge that was uh, recently released by Spinoff, uh, the one that just finished on Sunday, you'll kind of have a feeling of what we have here. Any putt you make just kind of will drop to the left really quick. And it's really hard to do even normal approaches because you don't have a disc that you're used to approaching with. So this one, this hole, the key will be getting it as close as you can to the pin after two. So hopefully I am clean after this first one. And wow, it looks like uh, Aaron got a ways down. He, wow, sweet, good for him. He went uh, backhand on that. We'll see if I can get it really close. Anything within 40, I'll feel pretty good about. Anything outside of that will be a challenge for sure. Come on, sit down, sit down. All right, that was good. And yeah, so as most of you are aware, Aaron and I like RPDs about as much as anyone in this game. We both started playing and probably getting a little bit more serious about the game in 2022 when those discs were made as an award for the European Open. So kind of near and dear to our hearts. This will be a challenging hole because I generally use the PD or the Sapphire here on a similar line. Um, but generally a good shot. Hold on a second. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm in trouble here. Oh, boy. That was a big mistake. Um, so normally a good one would leave me 70 to 80 out. Oh, man. I'm in some serious trouble here. And uh, then I have to, you know, make a putt from 80 feet, which is hard enough on this course with a normal putter. So we'll see if I can get it nice and close here. All right. That feels pretty decent. Very nice. Okay, so I save my bogey at the very least. Oh no. So that's a bummer. That's uh, one of the things I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Even if you get pretty close, if you're not in like finger putting range, the throw in is no piece of cake. So you got to be really dialed. We both did take a few moments to practice this, but that doesn't make it a whole lot easier. Oh no, we ran out of time too. So that's a bummer. <laughs> kind of embarrassing ourselves a little bit. We are, st I am still ahead of a nasty Nate, so that's kind of fun. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. Ooh, we'll see if I can get it close enough. All right, looks like we had about the same line. Get up there. Oh boy, this is going to be challenging. Oh boy, 67, you say. All right, we'll try about this. Oh, sweet. Snuck one in there. I feel like I kind of stole a stroke there. All right, I did not have time to pay attention to which holes we are going to get. We'll see. All right, this one is very doable with the PD. This is pretty close to what I use anyway. Generally, I'll go Accurate Roll Musket or I'll go with my Accurate Glide Sapphire. But this time, I think I'm going to go with the PD. We'll see how close I can get it. Come on, get over. All right. Bounce in. That would be epic, huh? Not in, but uh, all right. It's going to be a weird kind of a putt here. 51, kind of awkward. We'll see if I can kind of dial this in right. No, I got to end to the right. That's for sure. And I adjusted just right. So it looks like Aaron's in the same boat. Oh, I can't tell where he is. Hard to tell where he landed there. Um... Regardless, he took his birdie. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this, you guys. Uh, through, all right, man, another perfect hole for this disc. Uh, this one, we might even get an albatrace, so be rooting for us here. 
because that would be pretty sweet for the video. Uh, I didn't put nearly enough hyzer on it for the ace. Feel kind of bad about that. But we are safe, so another eagle. And should end up with a pretty solid uh, score through six here. So pretty fun. Looks like Aaron's safe too. Oh, man, we were both eyeballing that one, hoping for the ace. That would have been very, very fun for content and just in general for, for this challenge. All right, sitting at six under through six. I cannot remember which course is left. Oh, boy. Oh, this will be interesting. Oh, this throw-in is not going to be fun. I have no idea what to do. I guarantee you Aaron and I will both be thinking here, like, what can we leave ourselves an easy approach with? And Nasty Nate goes and makes the ace, making it a little bit harder on us. Wow, I do not know what I want to do here. All right, I'm going to do the same as him. I'm going to arc it around to this side, and hopefully I can get across the water. Come on, get over. Get over. Get over. Sit down now. Okay. All right, leave me within 40, please. Sweet, 41. All right. Sweet, okay. Man, I. it's possible I'm doing better with just my PD than I would have with my normal bag of discs on this layout. I am not kidding you guys. Could be another interesting one here. This is a hole that changed with the recent update. Um, those branches have much more collision than they used to. We'll see how this goes. All right, I think I put too much juice on this, but the line is good. Definitely a little too much juice. We'll see if I'm still in putting range. All right, we are. All right, guys, this is getting pretty exciting. Going much better than I thought it was going to. I'm not going to lie to you. So, very fun. Um, <laughs> I could not have asked for a better layout for this event. Oh, no. Aaron's in that uh, nasty spot. We figured we get all kinds of holes like this when we were talking about this event where you're just too far out to putt, but you're too far in for a, or not far enough out for a real throw in attempt with this disc either. It was kind of a funny spot. So I did not expect to have a chance to win this event unless it was just Aaron and I. Then I thought maybe I had a chance. But boy, this is going to be a, <laughs> this is like going to be a gauntlet to finish out. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, man. Got to get this power just right. All right, power is decent. Almost even scared the ace a little bit. The problem is now, oh man, can I figure out my throw-in distance with this disc from here? It's going to be challenging. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. No, so close. Now I don't know if I have to go to the drop zone from here, if it's not up the drive or not. So I'm actually going to re-throw. And if only I'd done that the first time, you guys, I would have won this event straight out. So definitely hurts, but very, very fun uh, to get to do that challenge. I'm not sure if we'll do it again. It's uh, not easy to do in this event. Look at that. He's uh, swagging out. He has all of his PDs in there. I guess not the skip one, but uh, fun to see that. And yeah, well, thanks for checking it out. Let us know if you enjoy this content. Uh, go over to his channel and check out it from his point of view. Thanks for watching.